Macros, hot buzzword in fitness, macro counting. Right now I'm gonna give you the full streamlined guide on how to count your macros and why you would want to. To start off, I wanna go over two big points that you need to know for macros. One is why would you wanna count macros? Well, the truth about calories is that not all calories are created equal. Think about somebody who eats 1,800 calories of pizza. It's not gonna have the same effect or result of a person that eats 1,800 calories in grilled chicken and veggies. Second key point is to define macros. What are macros? Macros refer to your big three macronutrients, proteins, carbs, and fats. And your results come from the kitchen. Your results come from your nutrition. So this is a very key presentation. We're gonna quickly cover it. We're gonna go through the basics. We're gonna to go to understanding and then applying. By the time this video is over, you will actually be able to apply and understand how to use your macros. It's gonna be super easy and super quick. So let's roll with it. The first thing to note right out of the gate on basics. Calories are nothing more than a unit of measurement. People get it confused when it comes to calories. They're all over the place. Calories are nothing more than your energy in and your energy out. So that's the second point. Energy in versus energy out. So what am I referring to when it comes to energy? Because I'm not just talking about going to the gym, lifting weights. I'm not just talking about running. Energy refers to everything we do. Everything we do, breathing takes energy. Standing here talking to you right now, I'm expending calories. I have energy going out right now, focus. There's a lot of things going on. So throughout your day, a lot of things require energy. Don't forget that everything takes energy. To wrap up the basics, it's all about energy balance, calories in and calories out. If you take in more calories than you burn, then you're going to gain weight. If you burn more calories than you take in, then you're going to lose weight, hence the caloric deficit. That's how you burn fat. This is a big key to mathematically ensure that you're gonna burn fat. And don't worry, we're gonna jump in, we're gonna talk all about it when we get to applying, because this is how you're gonna have that mathematical certainty to get results. Now we're gonna dive in, we're gonna talk about understandings. First thing to understand is that you want to define how many calories you need. This refers to as the maintenance calories. General person, depending how active you are, needs 14 to 16 calories per pound of body weight every single day. That's for your maintenance. If you're more active, you need to be eating on the 16 end. If you're less active, you need to be eating on the 14 end. And that's gonna add to your daily maintenance. Second key point to understanding macros is that 3,500, this is the magic number, 3,500 calories in a pound of fat. What that generally means is it will take you burning 3,500 calories till you lose one pound of fat. I'm gonna throw a major key at you for fitness. No matter what you heard that your friend did, and no matter what her friend did or your cousin did, the thing to understand here is that the healthy weight gain loss ratio is one to three pounds per week. That means if I'm going for weight loss, I can stay healthy and lose one to three pounds per week. Sure, some weeks are gonna be different than others, certain things are gonna change, but this is gonna be your average baseline. Do not listen to all the crazy things, like I lost 30 pounds in a week or anything like that. This is where the key is. The third and most important element to understanding your macros is the big rule. So I'm gonna put the rule right here, and that is the four, four, nine rule. I mentioned before, all calories are not created equal. This is where we get the four, four, nine. Protein have four calories per gram. Carbs, four calories per gram. And fats are worth nine calories per gram. And if you don't understand that just yet, don't worry, when we get to applying, it's all gonna make a lot more sense. The last thing to note here in understanding is that you want to prioritize your fats and your proteins. That is what you're gonna prioritize. You can actually go without carbs. Removing fats or proteins from your diet, that is the worst thing you can do. It's detrimental. Cruising over here to applying. So now you've got the basics. You understand calories aren't created equal. You know what the 449 rule is. We're gonna put it all together with this example. First thing we have to figure out is what your desired goal is. So all you wanna think about here is you either want your plus or your negative. You want to define your surplus or your deficit. For this example, we're gonna use a fat loss example. So I'm gonna circle the minus symbol. Okay, so we're gonna find what our caloric deficit is. So the number two point, we talked about a little bit in the understanding, we're going to prioritize protein and fats. 
So let's take a look. Here I am, okay, this is Ryan. Let's say I'm 200 pounds right now, I'm holding about 215, but we're gonna say that I'm 200 even. I've already calculated my maintenance calories by using this formula. I went with 15 calories per pound of body weight per day. Now right here, I didn't want you to get confused. Here's the example. Let's take a look at it. 3,000 calories, that is my maintenance. That's what I'm gonna take in to stay the same, to live an active life. Let's say I'm pretty active, right? I fell into the 15 range. If I was super active, I'd be in the 16 range. But we calculated this based on that 3,000, that's exactly where I am in the mid range. And you'll see, I've got a healthy deficit. My healthy deficit, 500. I have 500 calories, so this is what gonna, I'm gonna stay at to maintain will be 3,000. You're always gonna wanna look at a deficit or a surplus of 500. That's the first place you're gonna go. 500 is kinda gonna be your magic number, which is why I circled it. So if I got 3,000 for my maintenance, I want a deficit of 500, that's gonna leave me with 2,500 calories. So that's my cal caloric makeup for every day. 2,500 calories, I'm gonna be doing that. And that's gonna help me lose one to three pounds per week. See how this all kind of fits together? So where do we go from here? Now comes the macros part and the flexible eating part and everything else. I've got 2,500 as my deficit. I've already calculated how much protein I need, how much fats I need, and how much carbs I need. So let me reverse engineer that for you right here. Proteins. Proteins, you're gonna equal one gram per pound of body weight. That's gonna be protein, that's the magic number for protein. That is how much you need. And also, the numbers I'm giving you are the most scientifically accepted numbers by the experts. You'll hear a lot of different numbers. This is it, guys, this is what all the pros use, and this is what science tells us. So these, this is where I got these example numbers. One gram of protein per pound of body weight. So to get that 2,500 calories, my body weighs 200 pounds, so I'm gonna eat 200 grams of protein per day. Your fats are calculated by 0.2 to 0.5 grams per pound. Okay, so fats, 0.2 to 0.5. How I got this number right here, I took the mid-range 0.3 and multiplied that by my body weight. Boom, there's my fats, 60 grams. The way you get carbs, remember, the big key right here, prioritize your protein and your fats. So how you get your carbs? everything else that's going to be your carb so what's remaining so what i have remaining i've got 290 grams that's going to be my carb makeup for the day for the perfect macronutrient build 200 pound active man with a deficit now you might be asking yourself how do i get these numbers in here how do i know what's for me well this is easy one gram always for your protein when it comes to choosing your fats you have to think about your body type, you have to think about your physique, your makeup, and then also think about how active you are. Are you extremely active? Because that's gonna be your baseline for your calories. Now, if you're like me, you like to be perfect. You like to get everything done in one shot. You like to know exactly where your macros stand. You can always take the option to take the fast path, especially if you're amateur, if you don't know how to do this, or even if you're pro, and you just would like somebody else to do this for you, you can get a plan. You can always have a coach or a professional like myself build it out for you, give you your deficit, give you your surplus, and get you to your results that much faster. This does not have to be a complicated thing. Imagine if somebody laid everything out, a professional laid everything that you need to eat and you need to train to hit that deficit, to hit that surplus, you would get results faster. They would skyrocket because all of the mathematics is there to back you. Everything has already been done for you. Now, if you wanna roll with me on a plan and that's the route we're gonna go, let's roll, I'm ready. If I've got spots open, if the link is active, I'll build your plan for you right now. We'll get you rocking. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Ryan Engel, founder of RE Fitness. Give this a share. Let's get this information out there. It does not have to be complicated. And if I don't talk to you on Snapchat, Instagram, I'll see you in the next vid. We'll <laughs>